Hey everyone, it's your friend Think Noodles, and it's time for Ask Think Noodles. So the first question I'm answering is a common one. It's about the free membership codes video that I did about a week ago, and it asks from Splanky CP, is that one German website still giving away free membership codes for Club Penguin? And the answer is no, not at this time. We're not sure if they'll come back anytime soon or if ever. All I know is that it worked for about 24 hours after I published the video, and after that it just stopped working and started redirecting to clubpenguin.com. The next question is about video editing, and it asks, anyways, I want to ask a question. I know you've used Camtasia, been using it for a year. My videos are not great quality. When I watch the preview, they look good, but when I put it on YouTube, it's poor quality. What can I do? And I think it probably has to do with the encoding settings that you're using. You're using too much compression. So try and decrease the compression or try a different compression scheme and it will look better on YouTube. The next question is about my website and asks, how do you make your own email like thinknoodles at clubpenguininsiders.com? And the way I did that is I have dedicated servers and I made my own email domain. You need to buy a domain name such as clubpenguininsiders.com and through the hosting company, however you do it, whether it's dedicated, shared, uh, VPS, you can set up different email addresses for it. This person asks, will you ever include another penguin or pop tropican in your videos? And as far as another penguin, I'm sure I will. Lots of you, I'm sure. However, a pop tropican, not really because as I've said before, pop tropica is good for one-on-one -on -one play, but not really good for social play. The only way I include other pop tropicans is through my friends list in my Road to Captain Think Noodles videos. Cookies221000 asks, why don't you talk in your club penguin videos? I saw this question just before I did my catalog cheats video and I thought, you know what? That's a great question. Let me give it a shot. So the last Club Penguin catalog video I did, the clothing catalog that just came out, I actually did talk in it and it went over really well. So I think this week I'm going to try and talk through my field ops video. So uh, look forward to that. <laughs> and thank you for encouraging me to do it. 100 net asks, do you know when the Amazing World plushes and figurines will be available in stores? I actually don't. At this time, all I know is the Tailtown's Friends ones will be available, should be available August 1st, and the Amazing World ones should be available around that time, but maybe not that early in August. Wizard Uncle Mud asks, what on CP games do you have all the stamps on? And there's only one game that I have all the stamps for, and that's Thin Ice because I did a video guide for my channel. More Awesome Than You 66, so I guess he's more awesome than me, asks, how do you get all the codes? And the way I get the codes, I think I addressed this before. The way I usually get the codes is someone tells me on my website, Club Penguin Insiders, and then I post them. The Jake Show 2 asks, will you ever quit CP? That's a fairly simple question to ask. I really don't think so. I have a good time playing it, and with the party, the way that went, I don't think I'm quitting anytime soon. Walkthroughs Too Many 2 asks, I finally figured out how to do the picture thing with Camtasia Studio. Where do you download your templates? I don't, actually. I make the templates myself. You can use just about any image editing program that you have, but basically, I create them on my own. Which leads into the next question where Ian22331 asks, how did you get the old friends list icon? And he made some Pop Tropica, and the reason is because my template that I made is from the old friends list icon, which I have just updated. Thank you for reminding me. PhillipsU12349 asks, what do you use to make those backgrounds on your YouTube channel? And I use a program called Adobe Fireworks. It's similar to Photoshop, but it has more vector editing tools, and it's a really great program. MarioFan426 asks, if you didn't do Pop Tropica videos, what would you make videos on? I would still do Club Penguin videos, but I would have probably found another game to do them on. Do you guys have any suggestions? The CP News 05 asks, are you rare on CP? What is the rarest item that you have? I don't think so, and I don't really have anything rare. I, I wouldn't even know how to rank it. Second, he asks, do you make the graphics for your video thumbnails or someone makes them for you? I make all the graphics for my video thumbnails. 602 Shockwave asks, what do you prefer, Club Penguin or Pop Tropica, and how long does it take you to make YouTube backgrounds? I prefer Club Penguin for parties and social gaming, uh, Pop Tropica for when I want more of a challenge and more gameplay oriented gaming. My YouTube background took me a couple of days before it was really like I wanted it and I still have to make some changes to the header part before I'm satisfied. Squirrel Guides asks, why did you join Club Penguin? I joined Club Penguin because of some of the members on my Webkins Insider site told me it was a fun game and that I should try it out. Crazy Steve 12261 asks, what would you think is a good screencaster? Screencast-O-Matic or Hypercam? I'm sorry, I've never used either one. Screencast-O-Matic has a better sounding name, but that's about all I can give you. Sorry. 
OMG Ataco 100 asks, can you be banned if you use the money maker for Club Penguin? And I would think so. I would be really, really careful with anything like that if you really care about your penguin. You could lose it. You could be banned forever. And I would warn against it. Crazy Steve 12261 also asks, how hard is the way to get away from the fame? Do you log on as a different penguin? It's not that hard because I get up really, really early in the morning and I can do my Club Penguin videos really early when everybody's sleeping. And I never log on as a different penguin. I'm always Think Noodles. Which leads into this question. What's your favorite server on Club Penguin? The Blue Peter 12 asks. The server that I always use is Icicle. Ian22331 asks, in Pop Tropica, it says you live in Swaziland, actually. But on YouTube, it says you live in the US. Can you explain? I actually live in the US, but when I was going through the Pop Tropica friends thing, I thought the Swaziland flag looked really cool. So I chose that one. And I thought it'd be a little funny. Delicious Chalk 2012 says, how are you so legendary at making videos? Your videos rock and are helpful. First of all, thank you for the compliments. Second of all, I'm Think Noodles. What else would I be? Lily slash Kirby asks, what is your favorite animal? My favorite domestic animal is my golden retriever. She is awesome. Jackson Shepard asks, what is your most popular video? And I'm going to show you how to see anyone's most popular video. All you have to do is pull up their channel, click videos, to bring up their videos. And then right here on this drop down, click most popular and it'll sort it by the most popular video. You can see here that my most popular video is Club Penguin Codes 3000 coins plus guitar shirt. The next two people ask me about Minecraft and whether I play it and whether I like it. I do like it, but I've never played it. I've watched a number of videos on YouTube and I find them incredibly entertaining. And who knows, I may start a video series based on Minecraft. Kirby1781 asks if I like doggies. Of course I like dogs. Uh, I have a golden retriever, and as I said before, she is awesome. Angela1234567894 asks, are you a good singer and can you do a handstand? I am a terrible singer. I actually can do a handstand. And in fact, I just came back from the gym after doing 45 handstand push-ups. Club Penguin Updates 21 says, you said you were about the age of our parents in the previous episode. Does that mean you're around the age of 30? Yes, I'm around that age. Gabby O.C. asks, where are you from? I'm from a lot of different places all over the U.S., I even lived in Indonesia when I was younger. However, I live in New York City now. Marija Jarati asks, what does epic mean? An epic means bald, and bald means epic. Just kidding. Uh, epic means awesome, or amazing, or just out of this world. She also asks, why didn't Grazer add me on the CP party? You'll have to ask him, but I know that Grazer's friend list may be glitched, but he doesn't add a lot of people because I think there's something wrong with his friend list. And another question about Grazer is, is his birthday on January the 14th? He had a birthday party then, and it's your birthday on that day too. Well, Agent 14014, I actually don't know. You may want to ask him. I'll see if I can get him over here to leave a comment on the video and let you guys know if that's his actual birthday. The Raw Dragon asks, how often do you think about noodles? As you can tell from my username, all the time. Kirby1781 says, Grazer's codename thing is five swear words? Yes. Yes, it is. CP T-Rex Project asks, how did you and Grazer meet? There's a very simple explanation for that, and I'll show you.
SC Broadcast SC asks, Think Noodles, does Grazer Tank copy all the videos that you make? And yeah, you know what? He does. And you know, even further, before I even joined YouTube, he was copying all my ideas. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, we, we do similar videos, but he doesn't copy me and I don't copy him. We just cover the same kind of stuff. Bowser Jr. 18 asks if I know who Taz Boy is on CP or the Flame 12. And no, I don't. And then he, along with Ahox Hold, says, What kind of food do you like? My favorite food has to be noodles. He also asks who my bestest friend on the internet is, and I can't say. I have a lot of friends on the internet, and I can't choose just one to be my best friend. The Ranger CP asks if I like cake, and how do I know so many famous penguins? Of course I like cake, but only when it's good moist cake. I can't stand a dry cake. Secondly, how do you know so many famous penguins? I don't think I really know that many famous penguins. Uh, I've met the mascots in Club Penguin, and I know Grazer, but that's about it. Delicious Chalk 2012 asks if I like trains, and living in New York City, we call the subway a train, and I ride it almost every day, and I like riding it. I also like riding on Amtrak trains, although they are a bit expensive. It's much better than the bus or even driving. It's relaxing. IceTube asks me if I like chocolate milk or just plain milk. I like both, and I especially like plain milk when it's frothed up in my cappuccino. Caramel209CP asks if I like muffins, and I do. I like the tops better than the bottoms. <laughs> this is funny. You know, there's a lot of questions about what I like to eat, and I find that so funny that it's interesting to you guys. And here's another one. Sweet Candy Vamp asks, do you like french fries? Of course, love french fries. Everybody likes french fries. <laughs> and another one, do you like hot or cold chocolate milk? Now, I think of chocolate milk as something cold. What you're talking about, the Roar Dragon, is hot chocolate. And I love hot chocolate too, but not in the summertime, and especially not right now. It is hot here in New York. Angela123456794 asks, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? And I've always known the answer to that. Everybody knows a woodchuck would chuck as much wood as a woodchuck could chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. Yeah, that's the answer. <laughs> Jeff Kinney slash Giant Dragon asks, Would you rather have a dog dressed as a frog, a frog dressed as a dog, or a frog dog? Why can't I have a dog frog? Mr. Bean 96 cp asks, Would you like to meet aliens? That's a tough question. If you mean aliens like in Independence Day, no. If you mean aliens like in the movie Paul, oh man, I'd love to meet that guy. ViperKurt5 asks, What is the answer to 1 and 1? Please help, it's so hard. Well, if you put 1 and 1 together... You get 11. Easy. Now I just want to give a shout out to XX Toy Soldier CP. He completed my challenge and got the one month membership. He commented bald on every one of my videos. And I commend you for that, sir. That's it for this week's episode of Ask Think Noodles. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you next week.